Hello and welcome back to part 3 of giving old bagpipe new life. So previously we took all the old hemp off, now we've cleaned them up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start dressing these pipes up, put a little hemp on them. Now just in general, adding hemp, this is the most important part of the bagpipe process aside from setting up reeds, which we'll get to later. Um, you really need to take your time here. There's only one way to do a proper hemp wrap on a bagpipe and that's to sit down and take your time so for the proper technique to wrapping um your pipes it, it might differ from region to region but from what i've found in south florida my best method is i start everything in the black hemp now black hemp that's cobbler's wax it's much stickier it has um it grips much better it's gonna keep everything from just spinning once you've kind of got a nice two to three wraps of the um, cobbler's wax, I switch to a waxed yellow. With the waxed yellow, I'm really gonna do another two to three. Um, keep in mind, as you finish a wrap, put the pieces together, make sure they're not getting snug. Once they start getting snug, you can't do full wraps. As you can see in this video, going from yellow to the bl or the yellow over the black, you can really see I'm taking my time. I'm not skipping this. I'm holding the the spool of the hemp in one hand, keeping pressure the whole time. So generally, when wrapping these, you're gonna go from the black cobbler's wax to the waxed yellow, which is the beeswax, and then use an unwaxed. For my situation down here in South Florida. I've kind of got away from using the unwaxed. Um, with the heat we have, the the wax doesn't seem to harden up unless it really gets cold. Um, but that's going to be a preference thing on your end if you like it with it or without. And for the drone reeds, I either use the yellow waxed or the black waxed hemp. It's either one or the other. I don't mix them. Usually I can't get enough hemp on them either way to do two wraps of anything. Um, so just put a little on, you know, you, it's really one of those things that could take three, four wraps and they're in snug. So it's trial and error. They're all completely different. Something else just to keep in mind when you're wrapping these, how well you wrap these is going to determine how well your bagpipe holds air. So definitely don't rush on this. Take your time and enjoy the benefits of an easy to play bagpipe. And that's going to conclude part three of giving an old bagpipe new life.